So I'm going to give Shantakai one more chance. Hi darlings, this is Christina at Makeup Box FYI and I hope you're having a great day. Give Shantakai one more chance. I did try them years prior to. I tried a blush, I tried a lip gloss, I think I tried one, I tried a highlighter and let me tell you, I wasn't feeling it. It just wasn't. I was like, this is hyped up and I'm not really feeling it. So I stopped purchasing them. I lost all interest in Shantakai after that initial experience. But there has been someone who recent changes in my feelings in regards to them. And I want to share them with you guys today. So without further ado, let's get into it. For me, as a lover of makeup in general and just the whole artistry of it, I do subscribe to a few YouTubers that I really love and trust, mostly the ones that I have been watching for many, many years, who even inspired my own journey in makeup and YouTube in general, but I do occasionally add a few new ones. And so recently I came across um, this woman, Lisa Bilson, and you may follow her if you follow me, I'm not sure. We kind of have different styles, but we both like luxury makeups. She's definitely on the more natural side as I'm like all glitter um, usually. So anyway, I watched her video on Shantakai and she was raving about a few things. And I was like, you know what? I'm in need of uh, a powder I really like. And so I gave it a try. And I actually was very impressed. I was like, oh, so impressed that I ordered a few more things. But the first thing which you already know because if you follow me, you know I've done a short on it and I've already done a video featuring it, but it is the Lotus Perfect Glow Powder. And it is really beautifully embossed with this like leaf. It's like this mint green. You can see it's very luminous, very soft. I have been loving this product. It was pricey, but you know what's cool about them also? When I was checking out, they gave 15% off to hospital employees and people like that do first response, um, first responder type things. So that even like impressed me even more. I was like, I love when companies do that. And since I do work for a hospital, I work in a clinic, but I work, um, you know, for the healthcare industry. So I was able to save 15% on all these products. So if you are in healthcare, just know Shantakai gives discounts for that. So I'm always on the lookout for a one and done shadow. You know, there are certain things that I'm always on the lookout for and I swear I'm looking for something that may not exist, but I have tried this a few times. This is the Mermaid Eye Color and this is in the color Copper. First of all, the beautiful purple packaging I'm in love with. We're gonna try it. We're gonna see if this is what I'm trying to attain on my very easy breezy days. You know guys, I struggle to just find some type of balance with a calm eye look because I try to do calm and then I'm like, no, I need a little more. And then I end up doing like a whole makeup look when I meant to just be one and done. And it's so hard to reel myself back in. So I'm attempting with this to do a one and done. We'll see how it goes. And then I try, I'm going to try because I waited till today. This is the Shantikai Future Skin in Hazel. And a couple things I'm gonna try is if that shade match actually is accurate because it compared it to my Chanel um, number five and they recommended this color. On the swatch it kind of looked, on the website it looked a little darker for me, but I did some research before I purchased it too with people who are similar to my shade. So I have high hopes and it's supposed to be this amazing foundation. And so I'm gonna try it. I'm, I'm very curious. And I know this is not new. It got popularized years, maybe a year ago, but it's new to me, so we're gonna try it. And then I am going to, for the first time, try the new Shantikai Wild Metals Blush. This is an apple blossom. And the funny thing is, when I did my short, I actually purchased the um, the Anomi um, shade, which was a darker raspberry color, and they ended up sending me the wrong one, but I didn't even realize it until afterward. Um, someone actually, in my short, pointed that out to me, because I was just looking at what I purchased. I absolutely didn't even see the apple blossom on the packaging, hello. 
So it actually ended up being a really pretty shade, reminded me a lot of my favorite Chanel um, Rose Petalon, which can you guys believe? I am almost hitting pan on. That makes my heart so happy. Right here, there's a, if I dig any, you're gonna see it. You're gonna see it. Yep, that makes my heart happy. I want to use my products till they are gone. I don't like to collect things that just are gonna sit there, so I'm really excited. And this is no longer available, so I was gonna need a replacement anyway. So I'm excited, I'm really excited, guys. First thing I wanna do is give this Future Skin a try. So it comes in this beautiful glass bottle. And I hear you're supposed to use like a brush with it, but I didn't purchase the brush with it. I have so many brushes. So I'm just gonna take a scoop of it. I'm gonna put it into my hand. This is how I typically do with most of my foundations, not that much, that may even be too much. But I like to put it on my hand, and then from there the brush, I'm sorry, my favorite Chanel brush. And I'm going to just apply it like so. It's supposed to be very skin-like, nice coverage, like medium coverage, so it won't be full coverage. And I haven't put anything on, just my normal skincare things that you guys know I usually use, which is my moisturizer and my tinted SPF. Because I want to show you guys what it looks like when I'm doing my regular my regular days, like what it would really look like. So what I'm trying to indicate is if it's any more coverage necessary than my favorite Chanel foundation right now. Like I still normally can see my skin through it and I'm okay with that. I like to see my skin, like my freckles and you know, my little bit of moles. But I can tell you right now, I feel like I am able to build it up with a little more without it looking dark or cakey or anything like that so that's nice okay so this is it so far what do you guys think i think i like it and they did a great job with my shade range i think definitely is very well matched And it feels smooth. I'd say it's very comparable to the Chanel number no. five that I have. Very comparable indeed. I I feel like it's I don't know. They're both so nice. This is really nice. I'm really impressed with this. Okay, the next thing on my hit list if I end up really liking this um, foundation is I'm gonna try the brightener. I want to try that and I also want to try this serum I'm gonna show you a picture of it here so I'm a little apprehensive about it because one I don't too much dabble into skincare that's from brands that do makeup because I like skincare brands that just do skincare um, that's my own personal feelings on it. I feel like a lot of the luxury brands have a lot of scents and while I don't mind it in my makeup, I don't want to have it necessarily always in my skincare routine. So many of my things don't have any fragrance. Um, so that makes me a little hesitant, but I tried a sample of it and it was really pretty. And that bottle, oh, it's iridescent. And then even the serum has some glitter particles in it. I know it's not really glitter, but it's got some type of sheen, shimmer, you know, skincare and makeup is like a feeling that is brought on when you, you know, do these things for yourself. And I feel like that would be a really beautiful addition to my skincare routine, just giving me joy when I see it, when I apply it. But my skin's in a really good place and I just, I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous to purchase it and it's not cheap. So I don't know. I'm thinking about it. I'm on the fence. We'll see. This is what I transferred my filler into, my sublimage U. So I'm just gonna put that on here. Guys, I'm really excited for this. Oh, and I was also thinking of getting um, one of the lip 
products, the Lip Cheeks, one of the new ones. Um, I was looking at the peach one, I'll show you here. I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try, I think I wanna try that. That, we are going to try this beautiful Lotus Perfect Powder. I'll try it because I've been using it, I should say. But, let's put that there. And I like this powder because it doesn't get cakey and it makes everything else just really meld together nicely underneath your makeup. That's what I've really been noticing. Like you can put this over top, but I like to set my makeup, put it on and rarely do I reset it with this powder, but I love the finish of everything when it's underneath. So this is it so far, so good. I'm open to trying a lot of the new products of theirs, um, like the bronzer, um, you know, I have some Holy Grails, some Chanel Holy Grails, but I'm willing to try it if I'm loving their skin products as much as I am right now, and I'm just looking at the finder, and I really like how my skin looks healthy. That's the whole thing, like, it's supposed to look skin-like, um, your skin, but better, and I love that. As you get older, that's kind of what you're going for. So, just a little side note, I didn't mention in my birthday video because I'm drinking a little bit of coffee while I'm doing this video. My kids got me this beautiful Starbucks cup. I found it on Poshmark or Etsy. I can't remember, but it's an older cup. But do you see these colors? This is me in a cup. It's ceramic and look at these colors. It's purple and green. I hadn't received it when I did my video, so I knew I wanted to show you guys at some point because I've got a thing for iridescence, as you know. I think that's what it is. Like, <laughs> I'm a mermaid princess in my mind. Ariel was my jam. I was six when I went to go see that movie, and it just made such an impact on me that I still love Ariel and all things Ariel-esque. Um, in my life so it brings me joy i think it gives me that little bit of childhood that was just so precious so beautiful and it helps me encapsulate that time i don't know if you guys have that but you have like colors or music or different smells things that make you remember really good times in your life when you're young and you just want to hold on to it so you find things that bring you similar joys and so anyway this is one of them i've rambled enough let's get back to the makeup i'm not going to put a crease color guys i'm not going to do it i'm just going to try this here so well, let's let's see how this works huh? let's see. i do love their packaging so you can see it's copper because lord knows like i start rethinking all my life decisions when someone told me that i had actually stated the wrong color like that was so embarrassing but you know we live and we learn So typically my idea, my one and done shade, is going to be like my color of, of skin, right? That's my idea. Not bad. And I have the idea that I want glitter in my one and done, and I think that's a wrong idea. I think that defeats the purpose of me having a one and done because when you start adding sparkles you have to tame it down with something you know like you have to add crease color and you need to blend and so i like the idea of this because it was going to be just you know creamy nice sheen you know not flat but also not sparkly and if i'm gonna do sparkle i'm gonna do it right pat mcgrath shimmer shine sparkle okay we're not even, i'm not going to talk about pat mcgrath right now because I wasn't able to get all the things I wanted in that launch. That's okay. I'll show you guys what I got when it arrives because that shipping is terrible. But this is about Shantikai, right? So. I think I'm going to do the under eye as well because I feel like it doesn't look right if you don't have it all, you know, blended. Like your bottom eye doesn't match your top eye. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that there. And I am going to use a brush for it. This is just a MAC liner brush. So I kind of want to use this as like a little bit of a liner, not really a under eye shadow. Okay, and there's my one in ten. 
Not bad, not bad at all. Okay, so I don't have that mascara. I don't have um, anything else besides a blush. So I'm gonna do everything else off camera. I'm gonna put my normal Chanel liner, mascara, and we're gonna finish off with that beautiful, beautiful blush. Okay, BRB. Okay, so I put everything on. I put my mascara, which I've been trying something a little different. I don't ever leave my late volume, but the Noir, um, I actually, you know, have been feeling like I need to try something different and I actually had run out of it and I need to get something quick. So I, I tried the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes and I pair that with my late volume and I have been loving. I don't know if you guys can see, I don't even know if you notice the difference, but oh my gosh, when you figure out, first when I tried it, I was like, this is weird, I don't know how I like this, but once you get used to how you work this comb, first of all, this tooth is, this is the most interesting mascara one I've ever seen, it's flat and it lets you get right to the root and wiggle, 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 wiggle up as high as you want. And you can keep layering and layering like my my lashes to hit the heavens. So it is giving me everything I need and it's easy to get. So I've been loving that guys. So anyway, I wanted to let you know that I tried that. I'm not putting any bronzer on right now because I just want a taste of this Apple Blossom Chantecaille. Beautiful packaging. And from what I understand about this brand, they're very eco-friendly, like they give back to a lot of organizations to help preserve um, wildlife. And that is a beautiful thing that a company could do. They have a portion of their proceeds to many of them. And I love that. Look at this packaging. I love this color, this metallic, like tealish color. You know, it's giving me mermaid vibes. And you know, I feel about that. Gorgeous packaging. And then it's got this beautiful little rose and I'll just swatch it for you. You know that's not gonna stay, right? That embossment, but it's beautiful nonetheless. And so this is the color on somewhat of my skin tone. So it's very light. It kind of reminds me of my rose petalant, like I said. So let me give one more swatch. So it'd be two swatches. Okay, that's the coloring. The rose petalant. Actually, the rose petalant is warmer. It is definitely warmer than the Chantecaille, so it's more on the cool side of things. But I'm not mad at it because I actually don't have a cool blush, so it's something different. I like having different things in my collection, not many of the same. Okay, so I'm going to take my brush, you know, my Sonia G. I'm going to do just a little of that there. I'm going to start small first. It's a nice color. What do you think, guys? It's, you know, it's on the cool side of things. So I definitely know when I have my cooler makeup, because right now I have a kind of a warmer pink lip. So it's a nice juxtaposition between the colors, you know. But you could also use, obviously, with this with a cool blush, but I do like the fact that it, I have a cool and a warm together. I feel like even if the cools are not naturally complementing to your tone, which mine's it really isn't, like silver doesn't really look great on me, gold is definitely a better, and rose gold to be more specific, but if you use it with a combination of warm things, you can kind of make it work. So this is, this is how it looks. What do you think? It does give a little bit of radiance, just a slight bit. It's very lightweight, and I like that you can build it. It's not so pigmented, like the Gucci blush is beautiful, but woo, you have to be very careful right away because it's very pigmented. This is very flattering for beginners or you know mature skin because you can build it up. It starts off very light and even if you're kind of heavy handed, it's not going to get crazy. So I love this. I said I wasn't a you know setting spray person, but I was on the Charlotte Tilbury kick. 
I know, I know. But I've heard rave reviews about this and you know what, if I can help preserve my makeup under the mask at work, I'm gonna try. So I've been loving this um, Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I love the smell. I don't like it to use as like um, what I use with the Max Fix Plus. I never use the Max Fix Plus to set my makeup. I just use it to enhance my glitter sparkle shades of eyeshadow. But this I've actually been loving. This spray got a nice rose scent it's not aggressive like I have some skincare spray like this that ooh, if I breathe it in I start choking it's so strong it's got like copper in it and all these weird things but this is very light very mild it's very refreshing and very elegant smelling and so I've been loving how it's been melding everything together I gotta tell you Shatakai is killing me a little because I haven't disliked anything I've tried thus far. The foundation is beautiful. The one and done eyeshadow is beautiful. And so is this blush. You know, you know they sent me the wrong color. I don't hold it against them. Perhaps it was meant to be this way. Um, loving Shantikai, definitely would recommend. Thumbs up. Um, but yeah, I hope you have a fantastic day, a wonderful week, and I'll catch you in the next ones. All right, darlings.